What's up, YouTube fans? Today, we're going to do a comparison of the Mastermind Creations Cult Tour with the Black Mamba DJD01, both versions of a Masterpiece Scale Tarn. So, these were actually sent to me by two different people this one from Niles F and this one from Alan L. Thank you guys for sending these. Um, they're actually good friends, so I appreciate them both sending these and allowing me to hold on to these for this comparison. And um, these are interesting. They're quite a few years apart. This is from 2016. This is from 2023 or 2024. Eight years apart in their in their design and release. And this one is a KO of the Transformers Legacy Tarn. Uh, but they've made some improvements. Obviously, they've upscaled it. They've added some paint. They've added some die cast. They've changed ever so slightly some of the design here and there. So there is a tweaks to it, but ultimately it's not an original design, whereas this MMC one is their original design for the robot. And um, both pretty good figures, and I know there's people that were interested, so that's why we're going to do this comparison. With that being said, I try to be as objective as possible in these comparisons, but of course there's subjectivity involved when you're judging something like this. So if I pick one and you prefer the other, then you win. I really try to do these comparisons to help people decide which way they want to go with their collection. With that being said, let's get started. We're going to start off with accessories and gimmicks. All right, and normally I lay out the accessories in front of them, but there aren't really much. They both come with their dual cannon here attached. They're both painted and sculpted nicely. They look really good. The KO Black Mama comes with this black sword painted and sculpted nicely. This is actually the sword from the Legacy Bludgeon. So you do get the one extra accessory here on the Black Mamba. Now, whether you want to call this a gimmick or an accessory, let's talk about gimmicks now. The MMC has a removable mask. So if you take off the face mask, underneath there's an actual another face that is painted and detailed. So you can unmask him. I think that's a nice option for MMC. But then this guy, comes with light-up guns. Um, I don't have the batteries in there, but they both light up. They have a little button right here. So I'm going to give them a tie on the gimmicks. They both have a gimmick that Taylor doesn't have, but I'm going to give accessories over to the Black Mamba. They've got that sword. All right, next let's talk about the cartoon accuracy. In order to do that, we'll actually put the comic image, so we're really talking about comic accuracy, of Tarn over here. And both of them got the look, the sculpt overall, right? They kind of got the, the shape of Tarn. But it's really the colors on MMC that make it stand out and make it really look like that comic image. I think it was Alex Milne who drew it. Especially the chest area, the pink accents here and here. Those things really look like light-ups features, which is how it looks on the comic. On this one, it's just pink paint. It doesn't really look like it's a light-up feature. Also, the color of the purple and the pink is a little off from the comic image. Now, I do really like how this looks, but it just doesn't nail that cartoon, that comic image. So we're going to give cartoon accuracy over to MMC. Because the sculpt, both are pretty darn clean. Uh, from the front, from the side, pretty much equivalent. When you get to the back, that's where MMC, they, they did a different design. So instead of using these upper arm pieces, the shoulder pieces for the actual treads, they ended up putting a second set of treads on the legs, whereas the Black Mamba, it uses the treads that are on the shoulders as the treads for the vehicle mode. So, and again, that's not their design. That was designed by Hasbro. But... I think that led to a cleaner look in the Roval. You can see the legs are just perfectly clean. There's nothing on them. Here you've got this on the back. So I'm going to sculpt over to Black Mamba. All right, next we'll talk about the paint and build quality on these two. And when it comes to paint, it's kind of a no-brainer. The Black Mamba is pretty much full painted. You got the gunmetal, the purple, the black, the silver, the pink, gold. That's all painted. On the MMC, while it does look nice, it's got some really nice accents. It's really only the pink, the silver, some of the purple, and then the gold. The white you see, the dark blue, the light purple, 
and the gray here is all unpainted surfaces. So we're gonna give paint over to Black Mamba. When it comes to build quality, both are actually pretty darn good. I was very impressed. Usually KOs, they suffer in the build quality area. This one, pretty darn good. It's really close. MMC also, the engineering and the design, the overall you know, build quality is always really well done. They use really good plastics. So I don't have any build issues on MMC. On this guy, the only thing I had was when I open up this panel here to transform into tank mode, it can pop off that hinge, and that's just due to tolerances. And there's a lot of tolerances on here that are just too tight. Now, I prefer tight over loose, but just by a hair, I'm going to give build quality over MMC. I think um, they've, they're always consistent with that, and that's no different here. All right, next we'll go over the articulation. In order to do that, we'll articulate each one individually. For MMC, the head is on a hinge, so it goes all the way back, all the way down. You get side to side on a ball joint, and it rotates all the way around. The shoulder's on a ball joint, so you get a butterfly joint out of that. Rotates around on the butterfly joint as well. Out to the side on a hinge. There's actually two, it goes up on the ball joint, and then there's a hinge, so you can get it up to there. You have a rotation here at the bicep. You have a double jointed elbow. It's a little bit hindered just due to the design, but you can get it all the way up. And I think during my review, I, I didn't actually bend. You had to bend the, the bottom one first, but you can't get the full bend out of that. You have a rotation at the wrist, single pin for the fingers, individual fingers, not there. These will articulate in and out as well. At the waist, you have a waist rotation, ab crunch, does have a little locking point, but it gets you down to there. You have legs kick up to there, back to there, both on ratchets, up to the side on ratchets, rotation at the thigh. And by the way, I didn't mention, this guy doesn't have any ratchets, so I did give the build point to MMC, but the ratchets also kind of support the, the build quality point there. You have a single jointed knee, it's actually a double jointed knee, but due to the way it's designed, you can only get 90 degrees out of it. If you move this out of the way, you could probably cheat and get all the way. But now you have this sticking out. So that does work though. You have ankle tilts out to there, back to there, forward and backwards, and a toe tilt. For the Black Mamba, heads on a ball joint up to there, down to there, side to side, and it rotates all the way around. The shoulder joints rotate around on a really tight, I think it's a ball joint or a hinge, and then the shoulders hinge up to there. You have a rotation at the elbow. Single jointed elbow gets you a little past 90 degrees. Rotation at the wrist, single pin for the hands. Rotation at the waist, no ab crunch on this one. Legs go up to there, only back to there. Out to the side and hindered a little bit by the sculpt. You have to kind of rotate it to get it out. You have a single jointed knee gets you a little past 90 degrees. Um, this one you can actually use the double joint if you want to. You got to move that tank tread though. Ankle tilt is pretty limited on this one. You just get up to there and you get forward and backward and no toe tilt. So due to having the ab crunch, the double jointed elbows and knees, and the toe tilt on the MMC. We're gonna give articulation over to MMC. They just do a really good job on articulation and this figure is no exception. All right, next let's talk about the transformation and engineering. When it comes to the transformation, both of these are actually pretty simple and fun. Straightforward, there's a couple of panels in this guy that are a little bit on the tight side, but certainly not a uh, you know, frustrating or annoying transformation. Just a few steps that are a little bit too tight. This one, very smooth and, and very fluid. Um, and I'm going to give engineering over to MMC. I think they just are really good at designing things and transformations that flow. Uh, this one is a little bit rougher. There's a couple steps in there, uh, specifically where you're plugging the arms in and you're plugging the, the legs in, where things are a little clunky. Whereas this one, pretty fun and easy transformation. So I'm going to give transformation a tie. I'm going to give engineering over to MMC. All right, there we have them both in their alt modes. Both good looking alt modes. I do like how they turned out. But 
different takes on the character. Let me put the comic image there of their vehicle mode. And in my opinion, I think the Black Mamba nails it a little bit closer. Not necessarily the colors, but the overall shape and look. They do have the cannon set back a little bit further on the top of the tank. This one as well, this is set back further from this front bumper or grill, whatever you want it, call it. This one's set very far forward. Um, also, the cannons are a bit longer here, where here they're kind of shorter compared to the whole vehicle. And then the tank treads, the way it's designed, this one has the tapered, right? It's thin and then it goes out wide, whereas this is kind of continuous. So for all those reasons, I think this one definitely hits the character a little bit better. Looks more like the vehicle. Now, color-wise, I do prefer the contrast on the cannons here. Um, they did retool this MMC thing into a bunch of other characters, so that might be part of the reason for the more generic looking design. But end of the day, I do think the Black Mamba alt mode looks more like Tarn and is more intimidating as a tank, so I'm going to give alt mode over to Black Mamba. All right, next, let's talk about the cost on these two. And since this one isn't available on the Ages 3 and Up website, I'm going to use the Show Z store website since this is a KO. On the Show Z website, this guy comes in at $110 retail. This one comes in at $45 retail, $46. So we're going to give cost over to Black Mamba. And the final factor here in this comparison is the member's choice category, where I ask my members which one they prefer just based on their own personal preference and no other factors. And you can see that the MMC is going to win the Member's Choice category. So final thoughts on the comparison. You can see the score there. And it's a dead tie. And I am actually pretty surprised. I didn't think it was going to be this close. My personal opinion, I thought MMC was going to kind of crush it. Um, but there's some things that this knockoff really does well. You know, Black Mamba's pretty good at oversizing things. Um, and improving them, you know, from their original product. This one is no exception. It is an improvement over the original Legacy figure. Um, but it does stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with this MMC version. So I think you'd be happy with either one of these. Now, it's very hard to ignore the price point and the price difference. The value you're getting with this one, you know, basically an MP scale and, you know, paint and, you know, sculpting materials figure for $45, really good bargain. Um, but I do think I prefer the look of MMC overall, my personal preference. So if I was buying one of these, I'm not, but if I was, I'd probably go for the MMC personally. Um, but this is a great option for a Masterpiece Scale collection. So that's it for today. Thanks to Alan and Niles for allowing me to borrow their copies of these figures. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.